everyone and welcome to Art Tech TV Kenya. I'm your host for today, Nadine Ongoi. And as you can see today we are in Wambogo Farm where we are here to capture some amazing moments. There are poetry, there is uh, chemical products for animals, there is fishing, there is some um, designs that is basically traditional outfits and uh, as you can call it, kitenge. So today we are here with the Medina company. So maybe you start by introducing yourself. Okay, my name is Dr. Jogona. I'm from Medina Chemicals. Okay, Medina Chemicals we deal with veterinary products. Um, we are mostly in all the areas. We have all the ridges, poultry, large animal, all of those. Okay, so basically tell us what it took for all the companies and farmers to come together, what you think of the experience and what you think is an ad advantage to the experience. Okay, it has taken quite a, a, quite a lot of time. It has also taken a lot of energy and a lot of cooperation from the Wabogo farmers. We, we, have been having, we have been having meetings from as early as February, which has been there to, to arrange for this, for this event. As you've heard, that was some uh, dedication from the farmers and the companies that are basically here to make the farmers get some great products and some great output. So, I don't know, we shall go and see what the Medina company produces and get to see some samples of them. They are going to explain more about the samples and they're going to share more about the workers in the Medina company. We are here with one of the team of Medina Chemicals Limited. We are basically going to ask him the output that they are getting from the customers, the feedback they are getting from the customers, and the challenges they are having as the Chemical Limited company. So basically tell us, why you introduce yourself and tell us what you do. Uh, my name is Anthony Kariki. I'm a vet by profession. Um, I do this work. I treat, um, but basically, as as now, I am I am selling drugs. <laughs> okay, so I have seen that you are with a bit of customers. So tell us what feedback you're getting from them. It's very positive, in fact, because um, they are happy because now they are they are running new things. You can see like this uh, customer. She want to to do portrait. She, she doesn't have an idea, so she is trying to find out. Because you know, uh, pottery is very sensitive. So I am trying to explain to her how to do it. We have given her our numbers, so that when the challenge comes, we are already there for, for her rescue. Okay, so apart from the positive feedbacks that you are getting and uh, trying to train the customers more about uh, the animal products and the animals, basically how to start poultry, dairy, fishing, I'm told you do fishing also. So you can tell us the challenges that you are getting uh, as part today, or the challenges you have faced so far. Uh, basically the challenges that we are getting is that most of the customers uh, don't know these things. So you are trying to explain to with uh, others are understanding, but you know these things, they are mostly these products, uh, they have very uh, hard terminologies. Uh, how to use them, it is also a challenge. So what is happening, others are, uh, are getting it, others are not getting it right. So that is the only challenge that I am seeing. But uh, basically we are trying our best to make sure that they are understanding. Yeah, that is why we are here for them. Ah, naam, shukran penzi mtazamaji uh, wa Runinga Tech TV. Amie Kigogo hapa nimeweza kita kambi asiku ya leo uh, katika kaunti ya Nyeri ambapo uh, leo hii siku kubwa uh, maonyesho uh, la ukulima ambapo tumeweza kutangamana hapa tu na baadhi uh, ya wakulima ambao wamekuja katika onyesho hili. Tunasema agricultural show. Uh, kuweza tu ku 30 minutes tu ama kupata tajriba uh, jinsi mambo uh, hususan ya ukulima ambapo yanayofanyika. Uh, nimeweza kutangamana hapa na mkulima mmoja atatueleza majina yake na tueleze haswa uh, yeye amejipataje hapa ama amekuja hapa aje na ni yapi akufikia sasa ambaye amejifunza yeye kama mkulima. Labda kwa majina unaitwa nani? George Duhi. Uh, labda wewe umekujaje hapa ama ulipataje habari hii ya maonyesho ya leo? Nilipata uh, habari hii kutoka uh, message ya simu. Uh, alafu nikaona ni tarehe ya leo na kesho. Kwa hivyo nikaona ni vizuri kuja kwa hapa kuongeza ujuzi wa ukulima. Naam. Ndio. Na, la, labda siku ya leo iko kivipi kulingana na onyesho Hapa watu ni wengi. Naam. Hapa kazi ile ile jambo tunasoma hapa ni nyingi na mzuri. 
and na hii show ime improve sana nimecha nilikuwa hapa wakati wa mwanzo akianza lakini sasa iko kiwango cha juu sana na labda wewe kufikia sasa umejifunza nini kutoka kwa wataalamu usisa wa usika hapa nimecha kutebrea kituo cha Amiran nimecha tebea kituo baribali na nimejifunza mengi kuhusu upadaji wa vitugu upadaji wa viazi na chakula ya ngombe na kadhalika hasa hasa sana uh, juu ya um, brakaria na juu ya uh, super nepia naam yeah. na kuona hapa na una vitabu kadha labda ni daktari ama yule mwelekeza ameweza kupa ili kujifunza manake naona umenakili eh, baadhi ya mambo uh, katika kila study unaenda unakuta unafundishwa na unapewa uh, leaflets ya kujifunza nayo uh, labda wewe ni mkulima unajihusisha na kulima upi uh, kule nyumbani mimi najifunza uh, na shughulikia ukulima wa fitugu naam ndio okay. na labda ile wizara ya kilimo uh, yule waziri wa kilimo Uh, wewe unaweza mrai vipi uh, ku, ku, kulingana na onyesho hili labda onyesho hili liko linafanywa mara kwa mara ili wakulima waweze kupata uh, tajriba ama labda wewe una una una, una... ikifanywa uh, mara kwa mara ndio na hasa chida tulio nayo sisi wakulima ni chida ya fertilizer ile fertilizer serikali inapeana tugetaka ikalibise eh, ipelekwe karibu na wananchi isiwe tu at county nzima ya over almost hundreds of kilometers ina iko tu pahali moja kununua naam ndio na vile vile utawaarifu waje wakulima wengine ambao wanakutazama kule nyumbani ushauri wako wewe kama mkulima ambao umekuja kujifunza hapa wewe wakitebelea hii show kila julai ikitagazwa waje hapa wasome ili werefuke naam shukrani asante and labda kwa majina unaitwa nani a kwa majina unaitwa joe Nashukuru sana kwa huduma hii Naam. inasaidia hadi vijana kama sisi wenye tumeingilia ukulima. Naam. Wewe kama kijana mdogo labda siku ya leo katika maonyesho ya ukulima labda ni lipi ambao umejifunza? Nimejifunza mengi kwa sababu ninanifunza kutoka nianze ukulima nikiwa tu kijana mdogo haijalishi hizo uko na kubwa eka kubwa ama ndogo lakini uko nayo ndio faida yako inaanza hapo. Na la, labda umejifunza nini siku ya leo? Ah leo nimejifunza kulingana na ngombe mimi na shughulika na ukulima ya ngombe sana nimekushirika kuhusu vyenye nitalisha na vyenye nitauza na vyenye nitafanya bidii ndio niweze kuongeza kilo katika ukulima wangu na labda kama wewe kama kijana mdogo uh, katika nchi ya Kenya uh, labda ni changamoto tu uh, ambayo vijana wengi hawajajisi na ukulima uh, labda wewe una ushauri upi kwa vijana ambao ni wakulima wachanga uh, humu nchini Uh, vijana nikitaka kwa shauri kuhusu .com.com sio maisha juu kulima inanituweka vizuri kwa hivyo tuwepee mashinani na tujaribu kazi labda na kuona na hapa na baadhi ya vitu labda ni nini hasoa ambayo umeweza kupata hii nayo ni napier glass ndio ile malisho bora ya ngombe katika saa hii ukimix alafu na katakata for silage keeping inakuja vizuri sana labda swali langu la mshichanga moto ipi wewe kama kijana akuwa mfugaji pale nyumbani na kupitia onyesho hili wewe umeweza changamoto ambayo unapitia labda Uh, changamoto ka wananchi bado hasa tukio tumeachana ukulima hapa ni chakula na bei ya soko mabroka amekuwa wengi sana na bei imekuja kuharibu vitu sana so tunaomba serikali iangalie mkulima waangalie vile tunanunua chakula na vitu za kawaida na vile tunauza bado. Naam. Sawa. Naam, shukrani mpenzi mtazamaji. Jinsi ulivyosikia uh, ni kauli tu hapa uh, za wakulima ambapo wameweza kutoa changamoto zao hapa kule wakilalama kuwa hakuna uh, ile hali ya pemejeo, uh, yani ile mbolea ambayo bila shaka wanasema haifiki kule mashinani. Atumikita uh, kambi tu hapa kumjuza mtazamaji uh, ni yapi ambayo atakuwa anajiri. Ana mshukran mpenzi mtazamaji wa Runinga ya Tech TV leo hii kita kambi hapa a, katika kaunti ya Nyeri e, ambapo kuna maonyesho ya kilimo a, katika a, a shamba hili hapa ambapo kuna baadhi tu ya wakulima na baadhi ya wale wataalamu ambao tumeweza kutangamana hapa nao siku ya leo tutaweza kutufahamisha tu na kumfahamisha mtazamaji ani yapi ambao hususan yanajiri katika shamba hili ana maonyesho ya siku ya leo a, vile vile pia nimeweza kutangamana hapa ana yule tu a, mwelekezi ama mwalimu ambaye anaweza kuelekeza wale wakulima a, jinsi ya kuweza kukuza uh, mboga zao. Aniko hapa katika United Agrochemicals uh, Limited. Uh, labda kwa majina. Uh, asante sana. Mi kwa majina naitwa Thiongo Josphat. Naam. Mimi ni mtaalamu ama agronomist kutoka kampuni ya United Agrochemicals. Tuko hapa wa Bogo Farm 
kwa ajili ya maonyesho ya wakulima. Labda leo kama siku ya uonyeshaji wa kilimo hapa katika Wizara ya, ya Kilimo, labda nyinyi uh, mnajihusisha na nini haswa? Um, tunajihusisha eh, katika ile kuuza begu kusaidia wakulima na zile begu mzuri za kupanda na pia ile tunaita production ambapo eh, wakishapanda wakishajua zile begu mzuri za kutumia kulingana na ile sehemu kila mtu wako juu kwa, kwa, kwa maana kila sehemu iko na begu zake sasa tunasaidia wakulima wanajua begu ile inafaa kwa area yenye analima kutoka hapo tunaenda na ye, ile tunaita production Nam. production ni ile unamsaidia akuze hiyo mimea yake kwa jie inayo stahiri ndo apate ma, mapato mazuri na labda kwa faida tu ya mtazamaji ambaye anakutazama kwa sasa labda akando na ile mbegu ama ile pembejeo ambayo mnapeana nyinyi kama wataalamu labda ni hatua ipi ambayo mkulima anaweza tumia hususan ni ili kuhakikisha kuwa yeye pia anakuza uh, zile mboga haswa vile vile kama zile zenyu Um, mkulima uh, kwa vile nimesema mimi ni mtaalamu wa kilimo nimesomea hiyo agronomy sasa tunamsaidia kwa kwa ma, kwa maalifa ambayo inahitajika kama ni ile bolea yenye ataweka kama ni zile madawa atanyunyuzia mpaka akue na mapato ile mzuri yes labda unaweza ni uh, zile dawa ama zile uh, zile tunasema haje zile mbegu ambazo mko nazo labda mtazamaji aweze kuona tu kwa kifupi labda kutuelezea tu mko na begu tuko na begu ya malenge hapa inaitwa tena F1 hii ni aina ya malenge ile ya kawaida lakini ime, imekuwa imekuwa F1 ni ile zile tunaita hybrids yani imeunganishwa ikapata ile ikatoa kitu moja ndio hii ya malenge tuko na ya cabbage tuko na cabbage hapa inaitwa Stagro 12 na pia tuko na nyanya tuko, tuko na nyanya tuko na papaya pia inaitwa red swift f1 pia tuko na dania tuko na tuko na dania yani tuko na kila aina ya begu ile mkulima anahitaji kutoka kwa nyanya dania uh, melon tuko pia na cabbage tuko na hoho tuko na begu ya aina yote ile mkulima na labda kumweleza tu mtazamaji ama yule mkulima hususan uh, so mkulima ambaye uh, kule nyumbani na labda anakutazama ama anakusudia kukutazama labda wewe unaweza mshauri vipi kama mtaalamu uh, ambaye hususan anazingatia ana masuala ya mboga um, mkulima naweza mshauri akuwa kitebea masomo kama tu, tumea dasku ya leo kwa sababu kuna ma, mambo mengi yanaenda yakichipuka katika hii sekta ya kilimo kila uchao so ni vizuri wakuwa kitembea e, kwa kwa field kama hizi ndo tukue tunasoma kwa maana kuna begu zingine tuna tunatoa mpya tunazijaribia hapa then tunazidispose kwa market sasa dio, zinakuwa commercial so hapa ni kama tuseme maeneo ya utafiti so wakulima wanaweza kuwa wanatembea kila wakati mahali yoyote anasikia kuna kuna masomo ya wakulima anatembea hapo atapata maarifa mengi ya kuongeza mazao yake kwa shamba so kila uh, mkulima ile kona yako kuna kuna masomo inaandaliwa na wataalamu wa, wa kilimo wakuwe wakitembea hapo na wanapata maarifa mengi na labda ushauri wako kwa wizara ya kilimo uh, manake na tumaini ndio wameandaa hafla hii uh, ya mafunzo ili wakulima waweze kuja kutoka tabaka mbalimbali na kujifunza labda wasia wako ama ushauri wako kwa wizara hususan ni ipi um, wizara ya kilimo Uh, ile ile tugetaka atusaidie ni kuhusu uh, marketing market soko yani soko ya ya bidhaa ndio hata wale wakulima waweze kusaidika na, na zile ma, mazao zenye wametoka kwa shaba manake hasa hapo wakulima wana, wanalia sana hasara ame amepanda ame ame ametoa ame, ame mazao mazuri lakini soko inakuwa baya tena bidhaa bei ya bidhaa waangalie kama bidhaa zingine zote karibu zote wameweka 16% VAT so inakuwa uki, uki, wakinunua zira kama ni pebejeo ama ni begu inakuwa ya bei ya juu lakini ukikompea uki, ukiliganisha nchi jirani kama Tanzania na, na Uganda begu zao ziko bei rahisi madawa yenye wanatumia kwa shaba ziko bei rahisi. Sasa hapo ndio serikali inaweza tusaidia waangalie wa, wa hizo bei ya hizo bidhaa na, na hasa marketing. Unajua hizi mimea kuna zingine zina, zina, zinaweza kupelekwa ile tunaita processing na zikahifadhiwa kutumia ama zikuwe zimeongezwa munda wa kutumika. Ndio hiyo tunaita agro processing. Zina, kama kama ni, ni nyanya inapelekwa inasiagwa inakuwa tomato sauce na inatumika hivyo. So hapo 
wa serikali ikisaidia wakati watakuwa hata wamesaidia wakulima Naam. sana. Shukrani asanti. Al, ni kauli yake hapa yule msimamizi tu ambaye anahusika hapa ana ule ufugaji ama aulezi wa mboga kutoka United Agrochemicals uh, Limited. Ameza tu kumshauri mkulima tu azingatie uh, ile mbegu ambayo sasa wanapanda. Na vile vile pia ametoa changamoto katika serikali waweze kuzingatia ile utoza ushuru maana yake amezungumzia ile ushuru ambao wanaweka katika bidhaa zao. Nikiripotia Runinga uh, ya Aditek jina langu ni Elfas Ofula. And guys, remember this is Adtech TV Kenya and I'm your host Nadine Wangoi. And remember we're here at Wambogo Farm in Nyeri County where we have had some amazing interviews from some amazing people, farmers, agrovets, experts, customers who tell here who tell us that they're here to gain more info and they have been more training. We have been able to learn so many things about uh, the different type of chemicals that the plants use, the different kind of trainings that a farmer needs and or rather an agrovet needs and the different kind of seeds that a customer needs to purchase in order to have like a uh, proper growth or proper results or proper how do I say proper harvest of it so basically the the event is supposed to take two days you can come today or tomorrow get to get some training and guys as you can see that we are here at the home biogas this is basically a biogas that is very affordable it's here to lower the cost of living at all costs literally because it only you only require to have two cows or two pigs so that the waste can be used to actually take the cow the cow dung or the waste of the animal product is the one that is used to produce the gas yes this is Artec TV Kenya and I'm your host Nadine Ongoi